So why would a porn star and a preacher get together and talk at Woodhall Sexual Freedom Summit? Um, I'm here with Ellen Willard and the famous Nina Hartley, and I'm Kathy Bartoli from the Intimacy Dojo. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for having us. Um, and why why did you decide to get together? I love the top top talk topic, but like what what? How did you meet? How did you decide to do this? <laughs> um, we met through sort of the craziest networking that's ever happened. Um, <laughs> I uh, saw an interview that Nina had given a number of years ago, um, and I was listening to what she was saying, and I was like, wow, this is the healthiest view of sexuality I've ever heard in my life. And I love I had how other Nina models was, it. It's so yeah. curious and playful and... And straightforward and non-judgmental. Yeah. And, but then I had this other little voice in my head going, but, but she's a porn star. And I'm like, but wait, this is really, really good stuff. I'm like, wait, but she's a porn star. And I had this like cognitive dissonance thing going on. So I kept searching for interviews and interviews. Unfortunately, she's done a couple of them that are out there. (laughs) I'm getting more and more drawn in. I'm like, I I have to talk to this woman because she's talking about sexuality, not not just as a a person to person interaction, but with really very spiritual terms and very spiritual undertones and mm. really sort of honoring the whole person and not just an act between people or among people. And I was like, well, well what am I going to, how am I ever going to get in touch with her? Because I would imagine if I were in her position and someone came to me and say, hi, I'm this really, really devout Christian seminarian and I would like to discuss your career with you, that would probably be a hard no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, now that I know her, I know it's a yes. Uh, but I'm like, I, I didn't like I had no idea how even to make this introduction and then I found out just by accident that she happens to know Penn Gillette, who does a lot of work with my older son's good friend <laughs> so, the six degrees of freedom <laughs> thing we know we all know somebody who does a lot of you know theater production so I sent him this email saying I'm about to ask you the strangest question ever the strangest networking question ever but um, here's, here's what I need, or here's what I want, and here's, here's why. He was like, okay, this is a new one for me, and I guess he forwarded my information mm-hmm. on. He said, I sent it on, it's all so I can do. <laughs> 20 minutes later, I had an email that said, hi, from Nina Hartley. Oh, wow. Well, uh, well I, was really, I was really thrilled to, to meet Ellen, because um, people might not know my background, um, I'm culturally Jewish, but raised without religion. When I was 10, my parents found Zen Buddhism and stayed there for 46 years. Uh, so uh, I grew up around uh, uh, Soto Zen Buddhism, which is the Japanese form of Zen. And the big takeaway for me as a lay person is personal responsibility, mindfulness, and um, compassion. Yeah. And over after suffering many, many years in my life over many, many things, one of the things I discovered, of course, is compassion is a choice that we make, the behavioral choice that we make in the moment. And we have to, cho- we can choose our old way or, or compassionate way. And so I'm always willing to talk to any uh, person coming from a religious background. If they're willing to treat me as a human and not from a preconceived notion, I will talk to you because as Ellen and I, and most anybody who has had even one transcendent sexual experience knows that the experience of the divine, however we get to it, feels the same in the body. You are transformed yeah. when you have this experience of spirit entering you. Um, and Ellen knows more about the history than I do, but I've always known in my feminist way that the break between the so-called profane body and the so-called spirit, good spirit was always a false dichotomy and led to countless countless miseries and countless harms in the world. Um, and down, down, down where we find ourselves today in the roles of men and women, women being constrained sexually and men being constrained emotionally. Mm-hmm. And we are now, so I've always, Nina has always been a, you know, Florence Nightingale on the, in the trenches of the gender wars because most people are walking wounded. Yes. So Ellen deals with people who are walking wounded in a spiritual manner. And I deal, people, I deal with people who are also spiritually wounded and so she enters them from the heart in, I enter from the, from the skin in, yeah. but we get to the same place. Yeah. Because, because human. Yeah. 
Um, Ellen and I hope to see you at Woodhull. It is really an incredible, even if you don't make it to our particular talk, because another talk is opposite and it's amazing, I do believe will be recorded, vo voice, voice recorded. And Are they? Probably. They, they, they oh. do that. They're smart enough to do that. Um, but honestly, you must have come to Woodhull. It's just a magical, wonderful group of incredible people who who are working very hard toward the salvation of all. Um, and it's a really fun party. It's so fun. Yeah, no, they're such a blast. And you get to meet me and Ellen. Yeah, people are very and warm, happy. just as you get an example. Eddie? Yeah. It, it is a lot of fun. Definitely encourage people to come. It and is it's, really... transform it's transformative for, for some people, just to realize, you're, for, if you're living in a smallish town and you're the only one like you, if you come to Woodhill, you realize you're not alone. Yeah. There are lots of people mm -hmm quote unquote, like you out there, people who want to have sexual, have the sexuality be a more healthy, integrated part of their life, of their life and a more, more uh, correct representation of their values um, going forward. And it is ongoing work and it's available to anyone. No, no height, no, no, no height restrictions, no, age, uh, no, no weight restrictions. No, it just, if you have a body, you, you get to come to the party. Yeah, I love yeah. that. What I love about what Hall is they, they try and be really, really inclusive and really accessible and from what I've seen or experienced if someone says you know this is inaccessible for me the answer is never oh well we couldn't do any better what are you going to do it's always like oh well, well, how, how do we think about this or how do we address it next time yeah. so even what I really love about Woodhull is it is this great experience you'll meet amazing people if if you show up and your mileage may vary and you don't have this amazing experience, please tell somebody. Please yeah. tell a volunteer. Please tell someone who's yeah. presenting. Tell we someone who's like, on board not. because they really will. Like that aspirate, that's an aspiration that's, that's real and that's legitimate. And that's like, oh, we can do something to make this more accessible. Let's We're on it. it. Yeah. So I, I absolutely. Yeah. Um, thank you both so much for your generous time and brilliant oh, topic. Thank you. Um, well, and thank you. We'll see you in a couple months. Yes, I can't wait. Yay! If you're watching this and you have questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll try to get them answered for you. See you in August. Follow us on Twitter. Yes, follow us on Twitter. I'm Nina Land and at Ellen Willert, W-I-L-L-E-R-T, and we will talk to you on Twitter. Absolutely. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, thank Ellen. You. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Nina. Bye. Bye.